future of wrestling. to episode two of the Bizarro Challenge. We are here in the ICCW studios of Fast and Two of Saskatchewan. I am TJ Velvet, and here for me again this week is VPOC. VPOC, say hello. Greetings, everybody in Canada. And in the world. I'm back here again. You are back joining us for this week of episodes. As, like, we we got a replay from last week of what we saw. We saw Flygo Dragon win his battle royal. Eliminated P. Lake. Then we saw Andre the 3000 win his Battle Royal, which guarantees both of their safeties. Which then led into the main event where the upset of the fucking show after one episode, El Flago Dragon beat Andre the 3000. Uh, yeah, I still don't know how he was able to pull it off, but he somehow did it. Unbelievable. Saved his team. Scraps cannot go on the clock this week. That put up Vaseline Cream and the One Horseman, but tonight... Each man has a chance to possibly save themselves off the clock if they win this safety match this is the night two. And now we're going to decide who are the three other competitors in this. Fuego Dragon, Vaseline Cream, and One Horseman are in this. we got three competitors coming in this match as well. Let's see fans. Let's see who's coming in. Uh, well, it's, it looks like it's going to be Harold. Harold is the one of the first men, one of the three chosen to be the six-man something. Who is next? About to find out as the wheel of destiny, I guess, decides the fate of these men fighting for an ICW contract. It will be tie my shoe. Tie my shoe. Possibly saving himself. I mean, the winner who wins this match is guaranteed safety for the week, the rest of the show as well. And then down. <laughs> Like it, 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 it's the, oh, it's the ultimate lawyer. Ultimate lawyer gets it. Oh, I also forgot to put Andre the 3000 in that list, but he's too busy dancing this week. So this will be a six-man ladder match. And somehow, someway, Vaseline Creamer, the one horseman, have to win this in order to get off the block. Guarantee themselves getting off the block. So how this works is if they win, they will guarantee taking themselves off. If El Fuego Dragon wins, he will not take them off. If one of the three random competitors win, like Tie My Shoe, it will be randomized. Will they be saved? Yes or no? And then, who will they save? So we're about to find out. The only way to guarantee your safety now going forward is to win this match. Unless if you're El Fuego Dragon and Andre the 3000. Out comes Tie My Shoe. Were you impressed with them in the first matchup? Yes, I was. Brought up his I, I still don't, I'm still very confused on the whole Bones thing. I Tell me about it. It's, it's like his brother needed new bone surgery or something. I don't know, but he's fighting for his brother, basically. <laughs> Was it Bone? Are, are you sure it's Bones and not Bone Marrow? I, I was told Bones. That's, that's what I was told. That's what he told me. He's from Thailand, so the English isn't that strong. But what is strong is his passion for his brother, the yep. passion to try to make a living in this business. Yes. Yes, it is. I also, Thai food is very delicious. Thai food is pretty good. It is pretty good. We'll see now if it he... delivers a victory here. Vaseline. Oh, nice. Yes, here comes the Vaseline cream. Vaseline cream. On the block. Uh... His time might be up if he doesn't win this matchup. Oh God, yeah, that would be uh, that'd be a shame. Especially when you're the one that kind of discovered this man. Vaseline cream, absolute. I don't know. It just like I said last episode, he claims to be the sexiest man in any room he's in. And 
I don't know. He might he might be going home early. We I don't know. Were you impressed with Vaseline cream? Yes, I was. There you go. All right. Let's see if he can. I don't know. Can save himself. Every man will be vying for. It's a money in the bank briefcase. I forgot to change it. So, but it's it's really the safety briefcase for this week. This is Pyro. Goes off. The crowd's excited, and here he goes out next. Why it's well, like, get your coffee. Yeah, get me. <laughs> take a probably break. get my coffee, make a grilled cheese sandwich. Here you go. And here ye, here ye, the herald. Pay my rent. <laughs> by the time he's done coming out, it'll be a new month yet to pay for. Yeah, by, yeah, by the time, yeah, by the time. By the time this guy gets to the rink, my Grubhub will be here. Oh, nice. What are you ordering? Um. Uh, what am I ordering? Uh, I think I'm gonna, uh, probably, uh, Chinese dumplings. Ooh, nice. What is that? I had Japanese food the other day. I had beef yep. dumplings. They were really good. Yes, they, yes. You were saying, yes, they were. We didn't eat together. <laughs> no, we did not. But I've had Japanese dumplings before. Yes, so, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Very good. The Herald, that's that's what you got to do. You got to kill time when the Herald comes in. His entrance is so damn long. Yes, oh, it is. Got a scepter. I don't know what entirely that means. I don't know what that's supposed to represent. It's not a king, so... Yeah, he's a Herald. Which is usually like an assistant to a king. So he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like the Silver Surfer then. Yeah, yeah. So he doesn't have cosmic energy. No, he just has a slow ass entrance. Yes, a very slow ass entrance. Yeah. Harold. Like you probably, like, you could probably walk your dog and be back by, the, and this guy will still be going to the yeah. ring. Yeah. But he's also guaranteed safety for the week. It's all just NTA that's going up on the clock this week. Like, if Horsemen or Vaseline Cream save themselves, it's someone else from NTA that's going up. That's not Andre the 3000. So, these men, maybe, if you win this match, hopefully looking to, if they if they end up saving somebody, maybe that's a goodwill gesture to the other side. Look, I saved you. Don't try to put me up. Oh. Here comes another one. <laughs> another long entrance. Another long entrance. And here comes the one horseman, the other man who's on the block, on the clock, whatever you want to call it. Starting this off, the one horseman was, he was the one that was eliminated in about two seconds, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, by Ray Disappeario. Doing this long. I don't know what else to say. I mean, his entrance is long. He, he, you can't even say he looked good in his matchup because he was only in it for two seconds. Yeah, well, he won't have that problem with this match. No, no, this is a straight ladder match. Get to the top. Maybe this is his time to impress, to show off that maybe he deserves to be here and not out in two seconds. But as he makes his way down, what do you got? What do you, if you're one of the competitors who are on the block? What do you think? What are you thinking right now? Grab a ladder and climb up as fast as I can and grab that damn briefcase. Fair enough. Sound strategy, I'd say. I'm with you on that one. Maybe try to beat a guy down for a bit. Just beat him with that ladder, and then get up there as quick as you can. Because you can't trust anybody in this match but yourself when you're on that clock. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. The dirtiest horse in the game. Maybe going to look to show how dirty he is and what type of competitor he is in this match when it's not time to go over the top rope. My goodness. It's all for this ICCW contract. That's what these yes. guys are looking for. Oh, 
fudge is that? I have no idea. I got booped on something. Leave me alone. Get out of here. One horseman. Rubbing his feet. I'm surprised they made boots for him. I'm surprised they made a robe for him. I don't know if the brown on the robe is from his own name. Like, it, it don't... I'm afraid to ask. This absolutely this cocky son of a horse. This I don't know. Might have something to prove. As is Vaseline Dream. Yeah, they're both on the block and Yeah! This damn entrance music ended! Yeah, it's Again! <laughs> so long it is! All right, here comes basically the winner of the week, the ruler of the week, El Fuego Dragon. Looking to compete, keep these men on the clock. Had a, I mean, you want to talk about impressive? This man had the most impressive first night here. Yeah, let's see if we can keep the momentum going. Possibly, we got to showing that the competitor that he is. Now, he's entry five, right? He's entry five. We've got one more to come out, which is the ultimate lawyer. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, At least Flagos is done real quick. His, he's yeah. Just, he's just in and out. As here comes the lawyer. The ultimate lawyer. Looking to prove himself. He made it to the final two of his battle royal. Yes, he did. So he, if he doesn't win, he has a sh he has a shot to maybe go up on the block because his team didn't win. Andre didn't win. I mean, anybody from NTA is really fighting for their safety. You can only guarantee your own safety if you win this match when you're not the winner of the week. Takes his speed all time. I mean, it's not as long as the Horseman or Harold, but can't rush a lawyer. It's always on their time. Any first impressions of any of these men in this matchup? Um. Uh, well, I think I already said. I think I already mentioned it, but it's well. A lot at stake in this match. Absolutely. You, you gotta wonder. You, you gotta wonder who's gonna be fast enough to climb up the ladder. And luckily, Andre the 3000 is not in this match because I have no idea how the hell he would climb up the damn thing. I don't know. He, I forgot to put him in the Wheel of Destiny. So he's off dancing. And he's safe for the week, so he has nothing to worry about. But here we go. So here we go. Like we go. We got the one horseman. We got the ultimate lawyer. Tie my shoe. Not Harold. Or Harold or whatever the yeah. Either or is fine. Yep. Yeah, Vasily Cream and El Fuego Dragon. You got them all. Which one of these six crazy mofos are going to climb up the ladder and grab that safety guaranteed briefcase? Yes, we will see. Again, if yes. a Fuego Dragon yes. wins, yes. What? no one's off the with clock. That brief, with that briefcase, safety is guaranteed. Safety is guaranteed. If a Fuego unlike Dragon wins God, it, he won't save unlike anybody. Sam, yeah, unlike Sam, Nathan, Gregory. Correct. Look at you tying it in! <laughs> Haven't heard from him since his back in time match against Chris Angel. That's oh my god, a mania too. Did, did he manage to make it back to the present day? They, he did. I mean, Chris Angel showed up at Madhouse, so I'm assuming he must have showed back. Actually, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He was at one last atrocity. He was backstage. Okay, cool. So he managed to make it out of 06. He made it out of 06. 
Oh, one horseman is trying to climb up real quick. Vaseline cream. Yeah, he is. That happen. He is. Your strategy at this point, you just got to be throw everybody out. Give me some time to grab the briefcase. Oh, Fuego Dragon. Oh, Fuego Dragon might be on his way to doing that. Oh, he's going to move it quick. Oh, Vaseline Cream, quick to get up. Yeah. Vaseline Cream realized that, uh, yeah, he's on the chopping block because there's a distinct possibility if he does not win this, he could be going home. He could be going home. He'll be fighting for his life. On the next episode, we'll see a Fuego Dragon holding on. He was getting punched, but he's still holding on to that. Oh my god! What the hell? What happened to the ladder? I think Harold threw Tie My Shoe into the ladder and knocked a Fuego Dragon off. Jesus Christ. What the hell is up with the physics in this thing? It's. <laughs> it's 2K20. It's, like it's broken it's as hell. Yes, it is broken as hell. Let's pray to God 2K22 is not the same. Oh, God. I, I pray. And his ultimate lawyer is just... I don't know what he's doing. Uh, running in place with the ladder like that time The Rock did with a giant tree stump. Or yes. was that Brock Lesnar? Uh, uh, it was Lesnar. Was one... Running down the it street one... with it? Oh, yeah. We're playing musical chairs now between the three men. <laughs> we need music playing. <laughs> oh, Harold oh, broke it up. <laughs> Ruined the fun. <laughs> this uh, run is still going. What the? <laughs> A shoulder break right now. Harold and the ultimate lawyer. As I'm on the no! door. Oh god, it's like a car wreck. It's the definition of a car wreck. <laughs> look it up and look it up in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of the three men circling the ladder. Okay, now that's believable. <laughs> the power bomb on Harold? Hundred and three thousand is not. <laughs> You that's like SmackDown, that's like SmackDown shut your mouth physics when Scotty Too Hotty sidewalk slams the big show. Those were good times. That's what we're trying to relive. The good old days as one horseman just beating everybody with the ladder now. Strutting along as long as Vaseline cream. <laughs> Otherwise known as the pan killer in some circles. The pan killer? Long story. You have to ask downtown Jason Brown that. Who's the painkiller? Uh, Pan from Dragon Ball. Oh, oh! I thought you said Vaseline Cream was the painkiller. What does that mean? No, no, we, no, we call a sunset flip the painkiller sometimes. Oh, oh, he performed one. Okay. Yes, he performed the sunset flip, and I'll oh, tie my shoe performing a Muay Thai knee strike. And now he's gonna perform. A, I'm gonna climb this ladder. And save myself yeah. for the week. Is, is, is the ladder sitting on top of the horse's shoulder? I think so. Smart strategy on time my shoe, but not smart enough. Shit. Drops him down. And now. Oh, the horseman. On the ladder. Got judo thrown onto the ladder. Just pure. As now. Oh, no, Ultimate up. Lawyer is supposed to set up the la supposed to set the thing up. Oh, ah, oh Code Red. It's bad. Er, His head could hit off that ladder. Code, dra code Dragon. Oh Jesus! Uh, I don't know what the hell that was, but uh, I know that's a finishing move. It, I don't think I don't remember if I have a name for it yet or not. As now into no. Uh oh, way go. DDT. Big DDT onto the Herald. That's the Tornado DDT that the other Fuego does. No. The Vaseline Cream. Vaseline Cream. Vaseline Cream on his way up. And he. Can he get it? Can he get it? No. No. Tie my shoe. Oh. Takes him down. Big power bomb by Tai Mai Shu on the Vaseline Cream. And now, uh oh. 
Oh, Ty my shoe's been busted open, but I, I think we can't tell we'll be because his tell. mask is red. One, because he has a mask, and two, it's 2K20. They don't show blood until after the match. Oh, really? Yeah, it's broken. It's really Here. broken. And blood is on. I've turned it on. <laughs> Can't find 2K19 anywhere, huh? At this point, 2K20 is supposed to come out March. It just did, or 2K22 is supposed 2K20. to come out March. It's just like no point. Yeah, I yeah, you, you, you got a point there. You got a point there. Ow! I go trying to push this ladder over as Harold and tie my shoe just back yeah. and forth. Yeah. Fuego can't push the ladder over because I think the Herald is too damn heavy. We just got to fall. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, yeah, now he's able to push the ladder over. <laughs> Time <laughs> I shoot, tossed him out of the damn thing. And now the ultimate lawyer thinks he's Ezekiel Jackson. <laughs> what What the hell is he up to these know. days? Last, last I saw him, he was on Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. That was the last time I saw Greg, or Reich, or whatever the fuck his name, name was. Lawyer I know he, the ladder. I know, I know in, in kayfabe he got his eye burned and had to wear an eye patch. This is the only uh -oh. season I watched. Lawyer hanging well, on for dear life. Why go I don't oh. know if... Oh, well it's on Netflix here in the U.S. So. Oh, is it really? It was. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it still is. I haven't checked. It was here too for like a year, and I caught it last second, and then I just it's gone. Well, I'll probably check what we're done here. In the world, we'll probably know by next episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll know by next episode. Hopefully, hopefully it's still on there. I would love to see Ed Helico do his uh crazy insane dive again I'd like to see the one where uh, the one where uh, evil East looked like she uh, like nearly well I'm not gonna say it out here I don't even remember. it's been so long but horseman let's just say evil East looked like she had a very shocked look on her face when Ed helico did that but right now, we got the two guys that are on the chopping block fighting on the ladder! They, we'll see, everybody's just pushing this ladder and punching everybody and... <laughs> they, they can't... They're trying to get the ladder! What the hell is Tie My Shoe doing? Tie My Shoe... He's <laughs> got stuck it, in the ladder! He's stuck on the ladder! What the fuck this is, is what going happened, on here? It's all like Mania 2, this happened the same thing as the Horseman! The Horseman! Is, is the Horseman gonna do it? He's got what? it! He's, oh god! It's over! Horseman it's has saved somebody, himself! Somebody help poor Ty my <laughs> shoe! <laughs> this dude is- this poor guy is stuck on the ladder! In the pure anarchy of what that match was, in the end, the one Horseman has saved himself from the block. And he's gonna now- we're gonna have to find out who's gonna replace him! and face Vaseline Cream next week, or next episode, sorry, not next week. Congratulations to the one horseman that's just guaranteeing himself safety and he's off the block. So yeah, it's either gonna be one of these three bad- Pebble, Lawyer, and, and Imperial. It's gonna be the, the Pebble. Pebble. The Pebble has just replaced the one horseman. Poor Pebble is now the on the Pebble. block. <laughs> oh god. It's Vaseline Cree versus the Pebble on the next episode. We'll see you there. Thank you for joining us. Good night. <laughs> Dear God. Oh fuck.